Sam Clark, back again from Invisible PPC. This is episode number four in our client acquisition series that we're running weekly episodes on at the minute. Now, in today's episode, we're actually going to be covering a pretty short topic, but it's sales messaging, okay? So last episode, we talked about prospecting methods, you know, different ways that you can you know, generate new leads, uh, different outreach methods. Today, we're going to be talking about sales messaging. So what are we saying when we are, you know, maybe using those cold out, cold email methods or, you know, those, those cold phone call methods, whatever it may be. And um, we're going to be talking about the sales messaging and how to stand out from the crowd uh, and provide value up front. Again, we're always about providing value up front and striking up that conversation to build that long lasting relationship. So I'm going to cover three or four methods today, or different types of sales messaging that you might um, be able to use, whatever works best for your business, hoping to give you some ideas. Um, let's jump into it. So sales message number one is tried and, tried and tested here at Invisible PPC. And it's leading with a, um, a message that's great for adding value up front, which is offering free proposals or free audits. Obviously, we're a white label PPC provider that specializes in AdWords. So one of the things that we provide our clients, if you work with us, is um, free proposal creation. So that enables you, whether when, when you're outreaching or prospecting to new clients or new prospects, you, in, you, you then have the ability to reach out to them and offer them a free proposal, you know, if they're not already running AdWords or if they are already running AdWords, even better, we can do a free audit of the account. It doesn't cost you anything, it doesn't cost the client anything, it's a win-win. They can take the proposal if they want and they can get it implemented by somebody else, they can get it implemented by your agency, however however you want to work it. But that sales message is really, really strong because you're leading with value. You're starting the conversation by offering something of immense value for free. You know, you're going to review their AdWords account or you're going to provide them with information on how AdWords could help their business grow. That information is extremely valuable. So if you can lead in with something like that, it's super strong. And we, we've done over 2,000 proposals in the last two years, which have closed over $2 million in ad spend. Um, so this method is tried and tested. Um, you can be confident that that's a great message to reach out with. Okay, so sales message number two is another idea around providing value up front. And we call this just the quick problem solve. Okay, so in our world, you know, if you're, gen if, if, we're, if you're prospecting for new AdWords clients, a great way to do that is to f do a search for um, people in the industry that you're targeting. So again, I'll just pull on the dental industry as, as an example. If you're searching for dentists in Miami, for example, you're gonna get a list of ads that come up there. Now, a great thing to do is to analyze those ads and see where there might be a problem. Maybe they're not using call extensions very well. Maybe the headline sucks. You know, maybe the copy's not very good and it's not expressing a decent offer. Wherever you see that there could be a potential improvement or a potential problem, even better, then make a note of it pick up the phone or you know get your email client ready and and reach out to that client and say look you know i i was looking for a dentist in the area we found that your ad or well, i found that your ad you know is underperforming here maybe you could change it to that okay and just just tell them what to change it to if you've got a better example you know don't hold anything back don't don't say okay well you know I've seen this problem with your ad. You've got to you've got to book in for a call with me, or you've got to you've got to pay me before I'm going to give you the solution. Be upfront, offer the solution. Say, by the way, you know we're also an agency in the area. You know if you're interested in us, in having a chat, it'd be great to start a conversation with you. Again, these methods are to start conversations, they're to give value upfront. Um, and that's method method number two: the quick problem solve. Hopefully, you can solve some problems and get in some conversations with outcome. Okay, so method number three, sales messaging method number three is the comp competitor analysis. So a great message to lead in with and to position yourself as a industry or an industry expert if you are targeted again in, in a niche specific area, then you can do a search for ads in your vertical and pull together some kind of competitive analysis. So one of the things that we'd recommend is noting down, doing a, doing a screenshot of each ad that you find on that front page for your specific vertical 
And you can make notes on each one, you know, the good points of this one, the bad points of this one, the, um, the ways that this could, they could improve this, this, this ad here, whatever it may be. But if you compile even just a one, two page report on the state of ads in your industry, in that area, in, your, in the industry that you're targeting, should I say, then you've got something that you can reach out to potential prospects with and come across as you know an expert in that industry, in that field, and, and really demonstrate value and demonstrate and build trust that you know what you're talking about, okay? So you can reach out to those clients and say, look, we pulled together this report for a dentist in your area. We found some good things, some bad things. Just wanted to let you know, is it okay if I send over the report? And the aim is to obviously get the contact details of the person that that, that report would be of interest to, get that report sent over and try and strike up a conversation. Now the good thing about this sales message is you can use that same tactic for everybody that's on that list. Okay, so if there's 10 ads on that page, then you can send that out to each and every person that's got an ad running or even the ones in the organic listings, you know, you can send it to the, the, the people in the organic listings and say, look, these are all the people that are advertising in your area. Wouldn't it be great if you were up there with them? These are the ways that we've seen that they could improve. Maybe we can do the same for you. Again, the sales message is leading in with value up from, you're putting in the work, granted, but that one piece of work enables you to reach out to you know, 10, 20 potential prospects with a highly, highly relevant sales message and try and open those, those doors for better conversations. So that's it guys, there's three different types of sales messages that you can use to you know, reach out to new prospects and hopefully add some value to their lives before booking in a decent conversation with them and hopefully bringing them on as a new client. Obviously there's many more sales messages, depends on your agency, what you're selling, the way that you would do this would differ depending on your business. But the aim of this is just to give you some ideas and some different things to think about when it comes to sales messaging. But the most key point is always provide value up front if it's outbound and spark those conversations. You've got to be able to spark those conversations. Okay, so let us know if you like this video. Drop me a comment in the box below. Make sure you subscribe for next week's video. Next week, we're gonna be talking about follow-up, so you don't wanna miss out on that one. And again, you can check out any previous videos in this playlist as well. Um, give us a subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Great to have you here. Speak to you soon.